I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts in this video today about how to deal with challenges and obstacles in making a film when they present themselves. When you're working at a level with no budget and barely any resources to make a movie, it's very easy to run into these kinds of problems that uh, can make you feel really daunted and can make you feel like uh, you, you look at the situation and think, you know, how am I going to work around this? How am I going to get the movie made? But I find that it's actually in those kinds of moments and when I'm forced to deal with, that, with those uh, obstacles head on that a lot of my most creative thinking happens. And when I say creative thinking, I'm not even just talking in terms of, you know, writing a story or, you know, what kind of shots that I want to get, but more how to, how to get the ideas across. I mean, it's a whole way of thinking about the ways of getting the, the ideas across. And this also ties in with the idea of improvisation in filmmaking that I talked about in an earlier video. Yeah, I think there's uh, an idea that Im improv filmmaking means uh, just showing up on the set and you know making it up as you go along. And I think that's, uh, you can do that, I, I think, but it's it's a lot, it runs a lot deeper than that. I mean, real improvisation, I think, means uh, being able to think on the fly, uh, to to come up with um, uh, come up with solutions that uh, maybe you never even envisioned having to think about, but you do because uh, certain obstacles come up in your path, and it's the only way around them. Is you ha you have to figure out a way to deal with it. And I think when those obstacles present themselves, it's a mistake to try to ignore them in an effort to kind of get around them or make them go away, I think you really do have to confront them head on. And, and as I said, that's when I think the, uh, I feel like I do my most creative thinking. It's when I am stuck. It's when I see no other way to get past one of these obstacles. And then I think, okay, but you know, what if I did this? Or what if I did that instead? And, you know, and, and, and the thing is, if you do that, I think you, you will find a way around it. It may not happen right away, and it may end up looking very different from your original conception. And I think that is important, it, again, tying in with this idea of improvisation, that you have to be willing to, um, to you know, accept that things, you may have to do some things very differently than how you originally planned. And I don't think that that means having to compromise your vision. I, I don't think it means having to uh, compromise your vision. It may mean smaller compromises along the way, certain things that you would would have liked to have done, but you have to find another way of doing them. But I think you can still arrive at the same place, if, if you get what I'm saying. I think that in terms of the ideas that you're trying to get across and whatever it is, whatever vision that you're trying to express, you can still arrive at the same place. You just kind of take a different path in getting there. And that's where I think these kinds of obstacles can um, actually enrich our filmmaking, in, in a sense. I don't pretend that it's ever fun or pleasant to have to deal with these kinds of challenges because it's, like I said, it's very daunting. And I know sometimes I can go through moments where I feel like giving up uh, because it just seems like I, I look at the situation and I think, how am I going to get around this, right? But if you give it a little time and you kind of step back from it for maybe for a bit and just kind of clear your head and don't cling so, you know, so closely, so tightly to uh, a particular way of doing something that you that you prevent yourself from recognizing a better alternative when it's there. And I, I think that's a that's another key takeaway from this, is uh, being able to recognize what else works and maybe what else works better. Um, so, you know, if, you, if you're finding yourself in this situation, if you're making a film and you run into something that you uh, don't see a way around, some problem or some challenge that you don't see your way around, embrace it. Uh, don't like I said. Don't try to ignore it uh, to make it go away. Uh, don't think that it means the end of the road that you have to you know give up, and and also don't assume that it's necessarily a bad thing, because if you can embrace the obstacle and really get creative in thinking about how to get around it, um, you know you you may be very surprised at what you think of. I mean that that's the thing. I have come, I mean, in the project that I'm dealing with right now, uh, in dealing with a particular obstacle, I ended up thinking of another way of doing something that I probably would not have even thought of otherwise. So 
anyway, you know, I, I, it, I think a lot of this is easier said than done. I think when, when you find yourself in those moments of um, frustration, that's all you, you know, it's, it's easy just to fixate on the frustration. It's, it's easy to fixate on what you can't do or what's impeding your way of doing what you want to be doing. But I think once you recognize that as long as you're willing to adapt and to be flexible and to think creatively, which is really at the heart of it, that's what we're doing here in making films is, is thinking creatively. That if you are doing those things, uh, you will find a way to get around the, the problem. Um, it may look different and it's not to say that it won't come with maybe some level of compromise, but ultimately you will still find a way to get your ideas across and to get the film made. And I think that is what's important. Anyway, I hope that, I hope that these thoughts are of some use to someone. I, I know that they were, uh, I know that with what I've been dealing with, it was helpful to kind of think in these terms. So I thought I would put these thoughts out there. And uh, if you're working on anything and facing any particular challenges or any obstacles, I'd be curious to hear how you found creative solutions around those, if you want to leave those thoughts uh, in the comments below. But anyway, thanks as always for watching, and I will talk to you later.